it's so unthinkable? There are many stories about fallen eons. Lon the Permanence, Drilla the Beauty, Anna the Order, Tazeranth the Propagation, Akivili the Trailblaze. Hmm? These names were once known all over the universe. Now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide, and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Anna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Two, in a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeranth the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the abundance. So, the Sienjo too are engaged in this process. I don't know. Akavili's disappearance was very mysterious. Noose is probably the only one that can answer that question. After all, Droid Head knows everything. What do you think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. Hold on. Any minute now. <laughs> it's begun. Hmm. Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs> Wasn't this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? How did it grow all of a sudden? Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime. I'm so lucky! Such extraordinary energy. It's the Stellaron. Mr. Yang, do you mean... The Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? Yes. The Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be causing this anomaly.
among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Time to twirl! I'll end your misery. Time to twirl! Sharp side needs targets. Time well spent. This challenging time. Unless Kafka deceived the Matrix of Prescience. Stay calm, Divine Authority. The Matrix of Prescience does not lie. The logic you have laid out concerning Kafka makes sense. It has helped me to fill in another piece of the puzzle. I agree there is a hostile external force at work on the Lofu. A Stellaron didn't appear out of thin air. Someone managed to sneak it onto the ship. As for the culprits behind the Lofu's internal strife, I believe we are dealing with the so-called Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, that shadowy organization of the denizens of abundance. Kafka's revelations confirm my suspicions. You... General, when did you have these suspicions? The moment the planter of the Stellaron revealed himself. The Sienjo has the blessing of the Rainbow Arbiter, and only another Eon the Emanator would be capable of sneaking onto this ship without my knowing. We are dealing with an external threat. The Stellaron corrosion continues to flood into the ship, and yet it bypassed both the seat of divine foresight and the shackling prison. There is forethought here. Our enemy must have had access to Lafu intelligence for things to unfold in this way. It is evident now. The Stellaron hunters aren't the ones behind the curtain. No. As soon as I set eyes on Blade, it was clear to me. But why is he here? And why did he draw the Astral Express? <laughs> that piece of the puzzle still eludes me. Nevertheless, Lady Thu, your intel means the puzzle is more complete than it was before. <laughs> These Stellaron hunters are a captivating group. Such lengths to get the Sienjo and the Express onto the same track. <laughs> Who would have believed it? General, we must retain all urgency. The Ambrosial Arbor. It's the Stellaron. No need to search high and low. 
The traders have planted it in the Ambrosio Arbor Stone, thereby causing the tree to grow once again. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus couldn't hold off any longer. Every crisis is a turning point. A problem is easier to resolve when you know where it lies. Coming up with a plan again. Of course. I'm sure you have a countermeasure at the ready, Master Diviner. From my perspective, convening the Cloud Knights is our immediate priority. We must head into the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor, expel the Celeron spirits, and prevent the Arbor's resurrection. Mm, as ever, the Master Diviner's Omnisha provides for the fastest solution. However, Sometimes speed is not everything. I have known the Stellaron's location for a while now. So why have I held back our forces? General? Well? You're a scoundrel. <laughs> Pulling up the grass requires removing the roots. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus have chosen to make their move now. Which means the Cloud Knights have the situation under control, and the traders have run out of patience. Now is the time to capture them all in one fell swoop. You've been sitting on that this whole time? How will you justify the losses if something goes wrong, General? Please, Lady Fu. I still have forces to deploy. We were in need of extra hands, and the Stellaron Hunters were kind enough to bring us together with the Astral Express. How could I look the other way? <sighs> the General smiling again. Definitely errands. It's my fault. I had higher expectations of the General. Please, we can't keep getting them to do everything for us. Since when did we run out of people on the Law Fu? You... Why are you staring at me? Do I need to remind you, General, that the Ambrosial Arbor's access point is a closely guarded secret? Allowing outworlders would be... A violation of the rules and regulations. I would like to remind you, Lady Fu, that the Sienjo comes before its rules and regulations, all the more so in times of crisis. As such... I am about to make a decision that runs counter to those rules and regulations. Oh, uh, decisions, plural. <laughs> what a rare pleasure. Lady Fu, I hereby issue you with the military tally. The Cloud Knights will be under your control. You will act in concert with the other forces in the approach to the Ambrosial Arbor through the Alchemy Commission Dell. Under... my control? You've been eager to discover for yourself what it is to be a general, have you not? You've never given me the opportunity, and now suddenly... <clears throat> Understood. As you wish. As for our astral friends, I hereby formally welcome you all to join our operation to seal the Stellaron. Lady Fu will deploy the Cloud Knights, but I would like you to set off in advance. Take a shortcut through the Artisanship Commission, and convene with Lady Fu further down the line. Understood. Understood, Worry. I know how to repay a favor. The Sienjo has met with a dramatic chain of events, and each of you has chosen to stand by us. Your fearlessness moves me. Nevertheless, the enemy is upon us, and time is of the essence. Let us not allow monetary affairs to cast a shadow over more pressing matters. Once catastrophe has been averted, we shall discuss this in greater detail. Miss Tingyun, I would like you to continue to serve as a guide for our astral friends. Oh, of course, General. I am duty-bound. One zero one.
One zero one three. A step forward bridges no distance hence. Uh, the hexagram was right. The Ambrosial Arbor was felled thousands of years ago. Now it returns to life. The future of the Xianzhou is difficult to define. I had long anticipated it. Huh? She's not angry? Uh, is there anyone that isn't two steps ahead of us around here? Pursuing Kafka is a waste of time and effort. The Matrix of Prescience informed me of her innocence. Our priority is the Ambrosial Arbor. From the time the Stellaron corrosion began to spread until now, the only reports we've received on the Alchemy Commission have come from alchemists and doctors stationed in other Dells. The Alchemy Commission is where the Sienjo's medical research and production take place. However, due to its proximity to the Ambrosial Arbor's seal, I'm afraid the Stellaron spirits may have plunged it into a deeper crisis than we first feared. To make matters worse, the General suspects there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. The self-proclaimed disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been plotting this for a long time. And now they're using the location to their advantage. I must take action as soon as possible. He really is a delegator at heart, isn't he? There isn't much distance between the artisanship and alchemy commissions. I'm afraid the former is likely also facing imminent catastrophe. The star skiff is ready. I will lead the way. I still have important tasks from the general to attend to. Go carefully, all of you. Uh, wait, wait! Master Diviner! Can you... Divine our fortunes for us? Is there anything we need to watch out for? No need. My Omnisha has seen that your journey will be auspicious. Everything will proceed smoothly. Uh, are you sure? You don't need to use a crazy device or do more finger counting? Well said. Thank you for your assurance, Master Diviner. Onward. What's the delay? If you're worried about the road ahead, I've already told you. The hexagram indicates an auspicious result. Don't believe me? <laughs> Fine. Fate is fickle. Better to believe in yourself than look to the sky. Look at all the people gathered here. <sighs> Not a good day for commuting on the Lafu. The Artisanship Commission Delve should have suspended operations after the Stellaron corrosion began. Why haven't these people taken Star's gifts to safety? Maybe the Artisanship Commission are just more dedicated to their work? The Divination Commission's diviners aren't exactly a hard act to follow. <sighs> At the end of the day, work is work. You need it to live. You know, March, adults forget what relaxation means after a certain age. <laughs> Sounds like you're speaking from experience. Just speaking from the heart, that's all. I think they call that complaining from the heart. Are any of the paths in this world easy to tread? The Artisanship Commission is full of workshops, building state-of-the-art mechanisms, and craftsmen designing brand new concepts. Periodically stirring up trouble is part of their tradition. Entire buildings vanishing into thin air, puppet riots, you get the picture. It seems like the craftsmen are too afraid to go in, but they have nowhere to run to either. We should take care, benefactors. Something terrible must have happened. 
Either way, we'll have to go in. Let's ask around first. Another locked gate. Time for the old dilemma. Break in or climb over. A warm reminder, benefactors, that the Artisanship Commission is as important to the Sanjo as the Divination Commission. Our law states that trespassing into the Artisanship Commission can result in a prison sentence of between 300 to 500 years. Serious violations may result in exile on a barren planet, thousands of light years away. Are you gonna be this enthusiastic when it's jail sentencing time? I'm not trying to scare you. I'm simply suggesting you ask the craftsmen to see if they can provide an insider like Ching Chu to guide you. It seems more than a little reckless to charge in when we don't know what's ahead of us. Master Gong Shu. Oh, are you guys Cloud Knights? Are you here to save us? Your clothes. Oh, I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. I'm sorry it came at all. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> General Ching Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. You can trust us. You mean the general invited you? Is that a joke? The Lafu has the Cloud Knights. Why would he send outsiders? There's been a serious incident in the Artisanship Commission. 
Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? Waiting around, that's what. We ran away. It was way too dangerous in there. Please, if you plan on living a little longer, don't go in there. There's been some kind of botanical disaster. It was like an ornamental tree somewhere suddenly started to grow. There were branches so thick you couldn't put your arms around them. It spread everywhere. The whole commission is being destroyed. I don't get it. The Artisan Ship Commission focuses on the mechanical. They've got nothing to do with hydroponics or accelerated growth. Where did that thing come from? The worst thing is, my master is still inside. Master Gong Shu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisan Ship Commission smelting works. He's in charge of our research project. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. Why did he run back in? We didn't have time. We were scrambling for our lives. If I had an extra pair of arms, maybe I could have tried. I just heard him shout, It's gone! We lost the furnace! By the time we realized, he'd already vanished. Anyway... You said you're here to help us, right? 100%. The General sent us. Uh, you don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. In that case, take this Jade Seal with you. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound. If anything happens to him... Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... None of us would be able to graduate this year. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, let's go. I think this conversation's run its course. Botanical disaster? It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. But what about the furnace his master mentioned? 